Welcome to Envision. I'm Deanne Conrad, Community Relations Supervisor. Dr. Brian Maher is our superintendent and joins us again for another segment of Envision. And this time we're talking about enrollment and demographics in the Sioux Falls School District. Um, we are grateful to see that numbers are increasing. Talk a little bit about that. Right. Yeah, I term that as our delightful challenge. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a, what a great challenge to have. We, uh, as, a, as a district, we grew by 381 students, K through 12, from last year to this year. Mm -hmm. So what that means in real numbers is we, we now have 23,655 kindergarten through 12th grade students. Now we also have a preschool population that right. we work with. And when we add in our preschool population, we're at 24,775 students. So we're knocking on the door of 25,000 students in our district. Very close. <laughs> very, very close. You know, Deanne, one of the things that I, I think of when I look at our enrollment too, from a percentage standpoint, we're up 1.6% from last mm -hmm. year, mm -hmm. and that's typical growth for us. We usually right. grow somewhere between one and 2% mm -hmm. a year. But when I look over a long period of time, when I, I, when I look back at uh, 1990, the, this, the enrollment that we had in 1990, we were at just over 15,000 students. So in that 26 years, mm -hmm. we've, we've grown by 83, 8,400 students. It's crazy. <laughs> Think about that. There's only one district in the in entire state of South Dakota, other than Sioux Falls, that even has 8,000 kids to. for an enrollment. Right. So that, just the growth mm -hmm. is larger than every other school district other than Rapid City. In our right. state. Right. Well, and, and certainly with that growth, um, we've seen uh, an increase in diversity in our student population, um, continuing to grow greater diversity in that manner. Right. It, uh, from a diversity standpoint, uh, when I look at diversity, I think of diversity in terms of ethnicity, mm -hmm. and I think of diversity in terms of soci socioeconomic status. Right. So when I look at the ethnicity piece of that, I like to look at things over time to see how mm -hmm. things are trending. Uh, take everybody back to 1991, 25 years ago, in the fall of 1991, we had 95.5, I think it was, uh, or, or over 95% of our population was white. Mm -hmm. So, or maybe it was 94.6. Let's say 95 for sure. our numbers. 95% <laughs> of our population was white. Today, 65% of our population is white. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's talk about the, the non-white population. 25 years ago, 5% of our population right. was non-white. Today, over a third or 35% of our population is non-white. So, wh so what does that mean for us? Um, first of all, it means we're reflective of what's going on in the city of Sioux Falls. Right, absolutely. We're becoming a more diverse city Therefore, uh, our public school system is becoming more diverse. Also, um, it means that 25 years ago when you walked into a classroom, mm -hmm. it would have been rare right. for you to see a non-white student. Mm -hmm. And today, if you walk into a classroom, it would re be rare for you not to not see multiple non-white students. Right. So we have to understand the, the cultures that, that, that come with that the diversity through ethnicity. and. Uh, uh, we, we have to look at a lot of things from uh, our, our curriculum and our curriculum mm -hmm. development, mm -hmm. our delivery to our workforce. And so there's, there are all sorts of implications um, for that to growth and diversity. And it's something that we embrace. Absolutely. I was just going to say uh, it's, it's one, another one of those delightful challenges to, right. to, to look at it and make sure that we have all of the uh, pieces in place to make every student feel comfortable all day long. You know, one of the things I said, uh, we recently had a general administration mm -hmm. meeting, so all the administration in the district come together, and we talked at that meeting about uh, these same statistics, mm -hmm. and one of the things I said is, we talk about how we value diversity, mm -hmm. 
now we have an opportunity to demonstrate Absolutely. that we value diversity. Absolutely. I know another a key component of this report that is, is provided annually is a look at our um, socioeconomic status of our students. Um, and we have long been concerned about that number ticking up. We're kind of about in the same area as we have been in the last couple of years or so, but still significant issues with uh, poverty and, and socioeconomic status. Again, I look at that historical trend, uh, and, and, we, and we are pretty flatlined from where we were last year to this year, um, but where we, over, when I look at that trend over 10 years, mm -hmm. we've grown by 12% in our, in our poverty rate at the elementary level, and at the middle level, mm -hmm. and at the high school level. Mm -hmm. So at every level, we've grown by 12% in poverty over the last 10 years. So we grow at about 1% a year in terms of poverty. And that also has implications on um, a, a whole lot of things, uh, mm -hmm. not the least of which is, how do we work with students who are coming from, from poverty as their basis mm -hmm. every day? So there are some uh, things in terms of professional development for our staff. Mm -hmm and also um, um, sensitivity when, when it comes to working with our students. So uh, that's an impactful force in our community as well as in our school district. A lot of great opportunities for us to um, look for research and uh, find best practices and then implement those things so that students no, have the best opportunities. No doubt. I think you're, you're exactly right and the word you used is spot on. It, mm -hmm. It's opportunity mm -hmm. for us. It really is. Great. Well, lots of good things to come with those opportunities. So we thank you today for joining us on Envision.